800 crew members have tirelessly fought the flames on the soda fire for a week now. And all that work has paid off in a big way. In fact, tonight the fire sits at 90% contained. Although today's wind, mm. that was a top concern. Karen Lair joins us live with this Idaho wildfires report. Donna Michelle, we are right outside of Murphy, near where some of the most recent flames from the soda fire were burning. Now, crews were on standby all day long in areas just like this, keeping an eye on the terrain, looking out for any possible flames to pop up. But they said if we could make it through today without any flare ups, they should be in the clear. Today, if it could pass the test and not do anything with these gusty winds, then we're, I would say we're looking really good. The soda fire stretching more than 283,000 acres across Idaho and eastern Oregon is finally under control one week after the first flames sparked. 27 wild horses are dead and at least one structure is destroyed. Although the active flames have been put out, hundreds of firefighters are still keeping an eye on the area as Mother Nature brings in gusty winds. We didn't want to shorthand ourselves just in case, you know, this, the fire did decide to, uh, to get moving today. You can see just how truly windy it is out here. Some gusts are upwards of 30 to 40 miles per hour, which is really keeping the firefighters on edge. All it takes is just a little ember uh, burning underneath a, uh, a sagebrush uh, that's adjacent to some unburned fuels that we didn't see because there's so much area to cover and the right gust at the right time and it could be off to the races once again. Gusty winds last week caused the soda fire to quickly grow to the largest wildfire in the lower 48. But even after the fire is extinguished, their job isn't done. Of course, the work still continues uh, long after the flames have died down. Um, you know, with the rehabilitation, assessing the damages done and uh, doing what we can to uh, repair those. Still, for a fire so large, crews are thankful. No injuries were reported and no lives were lost. It was bad. We lost the structure, but it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. So once they know for sure that today's winds didn't cause any problems, they are going to be able to relieve some of their crews, downsize their operations, and send some of the firefighters to work on other active wildfires that are burning across the country. Reporting live from Owyhee County, I'm Karen Lair, Fox 9 on your side.